Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, August 7, 2016, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to program your ham radios with all the same frequencies using the Chirp software. So in this video, I have four radios. Three of them are Bofangs, but three different models. The Bofang, uh, this is this one here on the left is the UV82. Uh, this one here is the UV5RA. This is the BF-F8HP, which is an upgraded version of the UV5R. So there you have three Bofangs right there. And then my original radio that I purchased a while back, the, the Wotion KGUV2D. And notice that each one is on channel 1, 146.610, 146.610, you can see that, 146.610, and 146.610. That's our local traffic net, and each one has 70 channels programmed in that I selected originally both in 2 meter and 70 centimeter and also the sim several simplex frequencies including the national calling frequency so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and using the chirp software I'm going to show you how to take each one of these radios and put all the same frequencies on each one so if you had a uh, say a prepper group and you wanted everybody to have the same radio frequencies, you can do it. So this one here belongs to my cousin, so I just did this. He had it sitting sitting in the box for two years. So he doesn't have a ham license, but at least now he could listen in on some emergency channels, including the weather. Uh, I just got this one from Bofang to review, which I did a review on. This is the, um, excuse me, the UV... Uh, 82. I have a video on a couple weeks ago. And then I have my BF, hard to see that, F8HP, which I use every day, and my Wotion radio, which is mine. So um, if I were to hand these radios out to my one to myself and one to three different other people, and we had a radio plan written out, and I told them what frequencies to go to at what times, of the day, I could easy, they could easily do that with some basic knowledge of the radios. Basically just turning it on and using the up and down arrows, uh, they could get to the, the various frequencies on each of these radios. So let's go to the uh, Chirp software and I will show you um, how to do the uh, process. All right guys, we are in the uh, ham shack. I'm showing you the four radios here. There is my cable that I'll be using. And this cable works in either of these radios, in all four of them. So I have, each one has their openings here that'll accept the cable. So the first radio I'm going to work with is my uh, UV, excuse me, my BF F8HP, which has the frequencies that I want to put on each of these three other radios. So what I'm going to do is connect the cable uh, to this radio now let me connect the cable and we'll come back okay I've got the cable connected in my first radio that I want to work with so we'll turn it on you won't hear anything but you'll see the screen go on okay the radio is on so now I'm just gonna take a picture of my screen here and show you these are the Excel files of each of these radios that I have uh, loaded in. So what I'm going to do is call up the Chirp software, which is right here. I'll click it. And there it goes. The uh, Chirp software comes up. I'm going to select radio. Download from radio. So I want to download the frequencies from my radio to the Chirp software. So I got to tell it what radio I want. So it's a Belfang, which it is, and it's the BF8HP. BF8 
We're going to hit OK. Yes, and OK. You'll see cloning process taking place. And in a few seconds, you'll see the 70 frequencies come up. So it's pulling the info from the radio. You can see the green light blasting. As soon as it stops, it's done. And now you see my frequencies on that load into the Chirp software. So now I'm going to switch to screen mode and show you the process of how to save this and then import the files and load them into the other radios. All right, guys, so now I will shut the radio. So this one is completed with the change that I made. So this radio is done and programmed. That's the BF F8 HP. That one is done. So we'll put that one aside. And the next radio that's up is the UV5RA. So we have the uh, opening here, the port. I'll show it to you here under the light. That's where we're going to put the cabling. But again, it's hard to do with uh, one hand, uh, so we'll come back. Okay, I have it hooked up. I'm going to turn it on. Again, you're not going to hear anything. And now we're going to go back to our screen, bring up the Chirp software. Now, the software we had on there now is what we loaded in before. So we don't want to save this because this is for the Bofang BF F8 HP. So I want to go to um, edit. Actually, one second. I want to go right there, highlight one of the lines, go to edit, select all. It's all going to turn blue and delete. So it's going to bring everything to zero. There's no more frequencies. It's a fresh chirp. I'm actually going to get out of that. Um, don't save the changes. And now I'm going to download from the next radio, which is a Bofang UV5R. So I'm going to find UV5R on the screen here. There it is. My COM port is the same. I'm going to choose OK. And now it's cloning the second radio's frequencies. But, and there they are. So they just came up. The radio stopped blinking, so that's done. Now my frequencies are up here. There they are. Now, I want to select all. So I'm going to edit, select all, edit, delete. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to say Import. And my screen, my desktop screen comes up with Chirp files. I'm going to go over to where this choice is and I'm going to choose CSV. Can you see that? And then my other programs are going to pop up that I just saved. And the one I want to load in here is Test Ham. So I'm going to double click on that. It brings that up. I'm going to hit OK. That CSV file, I'm going to hit OK. And it just popped those frequencies in the screen here. So now all I got to do is go to radio, upload to radio. It's the 5R. Still the same radio. Hit OK. 
Choose OK. Say yes. And now it's cloning those frequencies to the second radio. So radio number one and radio number two will be finished. And I'll do the same process for each one using the test ham file that I saved using that same exact process. So now to make sure that this is the right process, remember on channel 51, the weather channel, we put in the S for skip and that's in there. So that's how we know that that file is correct. The change that we did make did get uploaded to this radio. So basically I could do that for two more radios that I have, three more radios that I have, four more radios that I have, and get the process done. And then all my preppers will be on the same bands and the same frequencies, and we can create a band plan uh, from there because we're all on the same page. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it using the Chirp software. I hope this helps. And... Um, Again, any questions, comments, please let me know. Um, I watch this on a YouTube channel, and what I do is I'm trying to practice it, get better at it. But basically, it's uh, it's not that difficult. Um, and when you do make changes, you just have to get your radios and update them. So thanks for joining me, guys. Take care. Anthony, signing off. Stay ready. Communications is highly, highly important. Okay. So now we'll pull up our Chirp software. So as you can see here, up top here, it says Bofang BF8HP. I can't say that for some reason. And you see all the frequencies here from zero um, all the way down to 69, you should see. Okay. 69 here. And then these ones in the middle here that have the S next to them. Right here, I'll highlight it from 42 all the way down to 51. Have, uh, actually, 51 does not. Let me put an S in there. Okay, what I do on that is the reason I do that is those are the weather frequencies. And uh, in order to, when you're on scan, your, so your radio doesn't stop at the weather continually. I put an S, which means to skip. So when your radio is scanning, it's going to skip the weather frequencies. Unless you physically go to, say, channel 42, then it's going to pick up the weather. So I know the channel 42 is the weather at my, at my house here. I just go to channel 42, and the weather will pop on. So um, it's, But it's out of the scanning sequences, so they don't... Otherwise, the weather just keeps popping up on your scanner. So that's why the S's are there. So, okay. So let's go back up to the top. Okay. Now, what we want to tell the radio is we want to... So I want to save these frequencies and then put them in the other radio. So I'm going to say... I'm going to choose... Um, uh, edit. Uh, excuse me, file. And I'm going to export. I choose export. Now notice the other Excel files I have here. So I'm going to call this one um, um, test ham-1, just to show that this is the test file. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And it comes up with this export file. It asks me if that's what I want to save I'm going to say yes because all of them are checked I'm going to say okay so now if I lower the screen you should see test right here let me lower that you should see test ham which is right here and there's my frequencies if I if I click this to open it they should pop up and there they are okay so there's my frequencies in Excel so I'm going to shut this down now what I could do is I'm going to actually go back to Chirp, and since I made a change in it, 
before I get out of this, I, I made a change on one of those weather frequencies. I'm going to run it up to the radio. So I'm going to uh, upload to the radio. Yes. Okay. That way that last weather channel gets blipped out of the scan. So right now it's cloning the one change I made back to the radio. And then I'm going to be able to disconnect this radio and connect my next Belfang radio and bring those frequencies into that radio. Okay, so that's done. So now I shut my radio, which I'm doing now, and we'll go back to film mode. All right, guys, what I want to do now is I, I didn't show you, but I want to show you how to do it using another brand of a radio. So I have the Wotion uh, KG UV 2D radio here. So I'm going to, um, it's plugged in and it's turned on. And I'm going to click download from radio. And right here where it pops up vendor, here's where you got to change it. So there's all your choices on the Chirp software. So I go down to W where it says Wotion. And I'm going to pick the closest radio to the one I have, which is the UV1, UVD1. So I picked that one. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Yes and OK. And now you're going to see it pull the frequencies from the Wotion radio. And then we're going to erase those and put the ones in from the Bofang. Okay, there they are. Now, again channel 51 was changed and you notice on this one it doesn't have the s for the skip feature so that's how i know it's the wrong software so now i'm going to go edit um, select all i'm going to delete all the frequencies that i just downloaded from the radio okay there it is i'm still in the Wotion radio then i'm going to go to file and I want to say import. I want to bring the file in, the test file from my desktop into this software. I go to, down here and I look for the .csv files, which are right here. I choose that. My files pop up. I want test ham-1. I double click it. It brings it up. All the boxes are checked. When I'm fine with that, I just hit OK and it populates the chirp software go down to 51 and there you see the s is selected so it is the one that we want now i simply go radio upload to radio it's already selected for Wotion, the kg uvd 1p i hit ok ok and yes and now those frequencies are going to populate into the radio that's it's going right now. I see the green light clicking on and off. And once this is done, all four of my radios will be updated. That's it. The light went off. It's done. Now all I have to do is shut my radio, which I'm doing now. Now this I don't have to save. So when I close out the Chirp software here, I really don't care what's on here. I have the file saved, so I'm going to say uh, no because I already have the test one saved on my desktop. And that's the latest frequencies that I want to put. So I can go back. So I'll choose no. I can go back and rename this test ham. This test ham. Something else. Call it today's date, whatever. And it's the latest software for today. And that's how you do it. From an Excel file. Converted to a CSV. Load it into the Chirp software and upload it to your radios. That is how it's done, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, Anthony, uh, signing off.